Welcome to the Mint Report. Our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. ONGC makes play for building assets in South Sudan. Rupee falls to a two-month low. And markets end Monday in the red. We start with India's latest push for energy security. Government-run ONGC is looking at making its presence felt in the new nation of South Sudan. Mint has learned the company is talking to South Sudan about developing its infrastructure for petroleum and natural gas. This includes refining facilities which South Sudan lost when it seceded from Sudan in July. If the plan goes through, it could make South Sudan less dependent on its northern neighbour for refining crude oil. It could also encourage the country to increase production. ONGC's overseas arm, OVL, has already invested $2.5 billion in the undivided Sudan. And in other news, India's rupee has fallen again with oil prices rising and stock markets falling. The currency closed at 51.27 against the dollar. Concerns about oil prices helped send the rupee down on Monday, since India imports about 80% of its oil. And finally, Indian markets tumbled on Monday, with the Sensex falling to its lowest in almost two months. The Sensex plunged 309 points to 17,053, and the Nifty lost 94 to 5,184. Monday's retreat was fuelled by concerns about the government's new general anti-avoidance rule. Investors are concerned this could allow the government to tax participatory notes. Financial firms took a beating, with SBI dropping more than 2% on the BSE to 2,118. And ICICI Bank lost 4.3% to close at 872. Some infrastructure firms also got battered on Monday. Reports of a possible sharp hike in stamp duties in Mumbai sent shares of real estate firms linked to the city plummeting. HDIL tumbled 7% and DB Realty did even worse with an 8.24% retreat to 86 rupees and 25 paise. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.